Mm-hmm. It's a good start for 2017, isn't it? Ah, the final whistle has just gone, and yes, I can say that because it is Saturday, and it has just gone. Not even lying. My God, it makes fucking change to say that, I tell you. We drew 2-2 two, two with Liverpool, and I mean, wow. I'd, I, I'd, I've got to say, it has to be said, my opinion, that is by far the best performance Sunderland have put in this season. And that's better than beating Leicester 2-1. That's better than beating Hull City 3-0. The, the passing was so intricate. It was like Barcelona and Real Madrid combined. And it was ridiculous. And, you know, a lot of people might think I'm overstating that. But um, I'm not. Not by any stretch of the imagination. Some of the passes were unbelievable. Oh, dear. Ugh. Some of the old whiskey going there. Why not? Why not? It's a perfect start. It could have been almost more perfect. Had the referee got some of the big decisions right. Again with the referees. I know it's getting boring, guys, but it's true. It, it is true. You know, it can't be helped. Um, so Liverpool take the lead. Uh, Sturridge, fine header. It was an absolutely cracking header by Sturridge. It, it, worthy of beating any goalkeeper on the planet, to be honest with you. Um, and then no more than six minutes later, a penalty is given. A uh, ball is thrown in. I believe it's by the Yamazai Barini. Comes to a dong. He somehow muscles out the, out the challenge. He's running into the box. And then, of course, Barini by this point is owned by Alden like a little bitch, by the way. You know, he has made Wijnaldum his whore throughout the entire game. Wijnaldum comes charging in on Dong, and a lot of people are saying this isn't a penalty. However, you've got to look at where the first challenge came from. It came from Wijnaldum, then, I'm not sure who the defender was, might have been Lovren, and then it takes a slight deflection off Lovren as the ball's going, th not all the way through to the keeper, but as the ball's going through, because Dong's knocked it forward. But the initial challenge before that touch happened from Wijnaldum and Dong went down as any player would. Penalty. And of course up stepped Jermaine Defoe. Bury it, bastard. Bury it. Simple as that. And um, I was thinking, you know what? We can actually do something here. Liverpool have been shite all game. And I'm not lying, folks. I'm not, you know, they created some good chances. I'll give them credit there. Oh my god. Somebody whip out the paint dinner. Honestly, it was awful watching Liverpool. Misplaced. It's like Sunderland became what Liverpool were last year. Fuck, that's weird saying that. And Liverpool became what Sunderland were last year. It's, it's fucking weird. It really is. Misplaced pass after misplaced pass by Liverpool. Um, some really dodgy defending by Liverpool as well. I mean, I thought Sunderland had been bad at defending, but Christ. Some really risky and dodgy defending. But in the end... Um, uh, yeah, uh, Marnie, the ball gets knocked back into Marnie in the second half. He's in a completely offside position. It should never have stood. The goal should never have stood. 2 1 Liverpool, great. Referee and linesman fuck us over again, just like the Burnley game, you know, with the offside goal and the uh, illusionary penalty. But um, so moving on, uh, we do get a penalty shot a few minutes later. Emre Chan with the most obvious handball in the box ever, not given. We had all three points in the bag today. We had all three points in the bag. We should have won that 3-1 easily. Uh, but then the referee finally actually finds his bollocks again after he's pulled them out after they've retreated into his stomach. And he actually gives us a penalty for a clear handball. Last with a free kick. Bit of a soft free kick, but you see them given. That's just the way of life. Uh, bit of a soft free kick. And lastly, he's got to bend the, the ball instead of around the inside to go out he's gone outside to go in for uh, on the keeper uh, Marnie he's not part of the wall he's got his arm out I mean literally it's this you know hello I'm here you know he's doing the cast of fucking flash dance ah, you know um, deliver a handball any day penalty Defoe steps up again 2-2 and you know 
And the thing that gets me is the referee didn't stop the game for, I believe it was Jillabodji with a head injury. He didn't stop it properly. He didn't tell Jillabodji to get off the field. Um, permanently, that is, until the final whistle. Uh, he allowed him back on and he, he, he looked... I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. He looked like he was on a different fucking planet. He, you know, he wasn't with it, you know? But in the end, we hold on. We got the draw. We got the well earned point. Fantastic start to 2017 because any Sunderland fan would tell you we should have won that. And if any Liverpool fan says they should have won that, they're talking out the fucking arse. It's as simple as that. Um, but, and again, do some number crunch. You look at the stats. It was, oh man, it was unbelievable. It really was. I mean, Liverpool got, they were that desperate. 21 shots and they only got, uh, yeah, out of that, there with me. No, fuck it. It doesn't want to work. Anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Liverpool, the, the, oh, it, was, it was unreal. They barely got enough shots on target, you know. Uh, and I believe Sunderland actually had a higher accuracy than what Liverpool did uh, for shots on target, believe it or not, compared to total sh you know, combined with total shots. So, um, epic game. So we're going to quickly touch a few other games. Oh, wait. Hang on. So, man of the match... Didier Ndong, my god, that guy put in a fucking work rate. Jesus Christ, did he? Um, it was he was everywhere. He really was. <laughs> it, it was like he was doing the job of Kone as well as what he normally does, but it actually worked for him, which is quite weird to say. But end of the match has to go to the referee. Obvious offside goal for Liverpool should never have stood. An obvious, you know, at the time would have been second penalty going on to a third penalty for Sunderland. The referee bottled it today. He really did. He he, he has, he's a spineless, spineless cretin. He really is. End of uh, moment of the match. Uh, it has to be when Barini and Defoe end up getting through one on one. Defoe tries rounding Mignolet. Mignolet flaps at it, gets a touch to it, comes out to Barini, and he just as he's shot, it takes a deflection and goes wide for a corner. Could have been four one then, you know. <laughs> so just quickly. Ronald Koeman just really, you know, he, he, oh my God, he, he buried Southampton, Southampton today, he really did. <laughs> Everton won that 3-0, Manchester City actually beat Burnley, luckily 2-1. Um, West Brom beat Hull 3-1, doing us a favour, thank God. Uh, West Ham and Man United are currently drawing. Uh, Fagouli's been sent off in the 15th minute, by the way, for, I don't know, I wouldn't say it was a harsh challenge. It was a 50-50 challenge by both players. Just happens one came off worse than the other. What was the red card in my opinion? Um, I'm going to quickly touch on, I believe it's, oh fuck that one. Um, Hartlepool who managed to draw 2-2 with Akrant and Stanley, uh, which is a fair result because they're both down at the bottom of the table. Um, and then we're going to go on to, uh, I'm going to quickly, because this is kind of, by the way, this is kind of a uh, what the football video as well. So it's all into one sort of thing, FW what the football special. Ah, Blackburn Rovers won Newcastle United nil, and you know what? I love saying that. I really do. <laughs> For all of Newcastle's dominance, I have to block the door here because someone's coming up the stairs. Um, so yeah, uh, the game of the day goes to Sunderland any day. Uh, can't really say play of the weekend or anything, can I? But game of the day is Sunderland Liverpool. So just let me know what your game of the day was. Let me know who your man of the match was. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, yeah, I am going, going, almost gone. Live stream hopefully tonight, by the way. About eight, half eight start. So now, going, going, gone.